Four. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Logan coming at you from Hunting Pros, and today I'm coming at you with a review of Kent Fast Steel 2.0. Stay tuned. Well, just before we get started with this review, I'm going to put this on the table for you guys. I am in partnership with Kent Cartridge, and I'm sure some of you are aware of that who watch my waterfowl content. However, I chose to exclusively use Fast Steel 2.0 for a few duck seasons prior to my partnership with Kent. And that's for a reason, it's because I love these shells. So I'm gonna come at you in the most non-biased way that I can and uh, give you an in-depth review of this stuff. Well, to start, this is what a box of Kent Fast Steel 2.0 looks like. This particular box is 12 gauge, three inch, uh, number two shot. There are warning labels on both the sides. And on the back, it gets into the specifics of the shells. So they have high performance base wad, which optimizes cycling and semi-auto firearms, precision plated steel, which provides superior patterns and corrosion resistance, a CX2000 primer for ultra reliable ignition, double base powder, which ensures consistent velocities in all conditions, and premium wads, which deliver uniform patterns in all conditions. So what does all of that stuff mean? Well, I'm not a firearms manufacturer myself. This is what the shells look like. But what I can tell you, is that the head is very corrosion resistant compared to other shells that I've used in the past. Now, I'm not recommending to take these shells and throw them at the bottom of a lake and try to shoot them. That's not what I'm trying to say, but walking around in saltwater conditions and whatnot and getting mist on them or spray, I have noticed these are not as likely to rust in comparison to other shells. I've also noticed that there's less powder residue inside of my gun after I fire it all day. Why? Probably because it is a high quality powder that they use. Um, so what we're going to do next is we're going to cut open one of these shells and I'll let you see what it looks like. So I just took the liberty of cutting apart three shells, one being Kent Fast Steel 2.0, the other two will remain unnamed. But I'm just going to show you the difference of the pellets inside. They're all number two steel. Well taking a look here, starting at the left, you'll notice right away that this shell has a lot of deformities in the pellets. Um, some are smaller than others, some of them are actually egg shaped, some of them have pits in them. Moving to the center, a little bit better, but same thing. They're not super consistent. Some are oval shaped. There's the odd pellet that is uh, pitted. But then when you look at Kent, they're all extremely consistent. They're all the same size. There's no deformities and they're actually zinc plated, which helps corrosion resistance. Something else I'd like to point out about these shot shells is the hard polymer case. Quite honestly, out of the thousands of these that I've shot over the years, I've never had a misfire. I've never had a jam and they load really well in any of my semi-automatic shotguns. I'll also note, they have a really nice crimp on the bottom. Well guys, I just paced off 40 yards. I have some paper down range. I'm gonna shoot a number two, three inch Kent load at that paper just to show you the pattern. Be mindful, I'm running my Kix High Flyer Modified, which is my preferred waterfowl choke. Um, so let's see what it does on paper. Well guys, at 40 yards, that's a pretty consistent pattern. I definitely pulled to the right a little bit when I fired, um, but other than that, it's nice and tight. There's no real flyers on the paper, and that would definitely be a dead bird. Well, now we're gonna try the same thing with another brand shot shell. It's gonna be three inch, number two, just like the Kent that I just shot. I'm not gonna name the brand once again, um, but let's just see the difference. Well, I was definitely more centered with my shot that time, but what a difference. Like the Kent was pretty tight. It held in the same spot. There was no flyers outside of the pattern. Like on this, down here, there's random pellet. There's a bunch of random pellets down here. I'm almost convinced there's pellets that didn't hit at all on the top. Like there's a bunch of pellets that grazed up top here, it looks like. Um, definitely not as consistent as the Kent shell. One last thing I'd like to get into before the end of this video is Kent Fast Steel 2.0 has a wide variety of options for waterfowl applications. You can get shot all the way down from triple B all the way up to number six. A lot of competitors don't do that. They only have shot sizes for, you know, your typical double B, number two, number four. To have number six, to have number one and thrown in there, like those are very unique shot sizes that a lot of other competitors don't make. Well guys, all in all, that is my honest review of Kent Fast Steel 2.0. Take it or leave it, but I really like these shells and I'm sure I made that apparent in this video. 
I want to give a big shout out to my buddy Charles for coming out a couple weeks ago and helping me make this video. Dude, you rock, and I mean that. You've always been there when I need to record a video, and I really, really appreciate it, man. But I'm sure a lot of you now are sitting there wondering, wow, he's at the end of his video. He hasn't said anything negative about these shells. How's this a review? Honestly, I have nothing negative to say in terms of durability and functionality. I chose to use these shells for years prior to my partnership with Kent for a reason. They always cycle in my auto loaders. They never miss fire. They're corrosion resistant. Clearly they pattern better than a lot of other shells out there. So what is there negative to say? Honestly, I don't have very much. I will say they are on the more expensive side of things in terms of steel shot. Um, you go out there, they're not your economy level shotgun shell that you'll find for $13.99 or $15.99 on a shelf somewhere. You're, you're not gonna find that. They are a premium level option for waterfowl or non-toxic shotgun shell applications. Um, but with that being said, in my mind, you get what you pay for. To wrap everything up, guys, there's certain things that I can and can't say on YouTube due to community guidelines and monetization and whatnot. If you head on over to my Facebook and Instagram page, I'll get more into Kent over there. If you did enjoy this video, please slap that like button, also subscribe, and of course, as always, stay tuned for next time.